mugs, teapots, plates, egg cups, cereal bowls, jugs, storage jars. It's a practical but beautiful thing. It's inherently British. It's almost like a Union Jack. Everybody's granny has a piece. These stripes are famous. Something everybody can have a bit of or a lot of. It's so in demand, there's never any stock. It used to be this amazing eight hectare factory which was called TG Green. They had a very simple mission which was we want to make practical, good, honest, durable kitchenware that we'll be using every home in the country. And the whole place sadly had gone bust. And I thought by moving up the administrator and find out what's going on. It never crossed my mind for a moment that Perry would do anything about this. I mean, Perry's not in the business of making china. I remember the excitement of telling Vic that we were actually going to be buying into Cornishware. We wanted to restore the brand to its former glory and get back to what made it great. It's actually a very difficult thing to make. When they used to first make Cornishware, how they do it is they glaze the whole thing blue and then they cut these bands off, these hooped bands, by hand. Putting a white handle on a blue and white striped mug. It sounds ridiculous, but it's actually really difficult to do. Perry created this wonderful packaging, which all has stripes, so that when you put it all together, it tessellates Cornishware stripes. What's most important to me is that Cornishware continues to be made in the right way. A British cup of tea in a Cornishware mug would be the ultimate success, and if it was made in Britain by British people, I would be a very happy bunny.